Hello and welcome to Paper Plays, Julie Kay. Thanks so much everyone for stopping by and today I'm really, really excited to share with you guys a swap that I did with Ivy Ling and if you guys don't know her channel, it's Ivy Shabby Crafts Cabin and I will for sure link it down below in the description box so make sure you guys open it up. It's definitely worth checking out. She makes fabulous shabby chic projects. Um, she does some tutorials. She has project shares and she also sells some laces and appliques too on her channel. So very, very fun channel if you guys haven't checked it out. And recently I joined a swap for an altered spool in Amy Love's Facebook group and um, Ivy was kind enough to jump in and be my partner because I kind of signed up at the last minute. So I was really excited when I heard that, that she wanted to swap with me. And um, Ivy and I have swapped laces before in the past, but the, this is the first time we've ever swapped an actual project. And again, our project was an altered spool. And I'm not quite sure which package um, the spool is in. I'm just probably assuming it's most likely one of these two, but I'm not sure. And so she sent extras. Um, again, just not quite sure where to start with. I did kind of read the note, so I maybe have a little bit of an idea in what's in this one, I think. But um, I'm going to start with this one. We'll just go from um, small to big, maybe, for packages. And um, so it looks like she made this really cute homemade box. And then she wraps some lace around it and I don't know if you guys know but um, Ivy is from the UK and so she finds some great um, laces and trims and I know she had shared some of this trim with me before when we did a lace swap and I'm still hoarding it so now I have a little bit more to hoard for a while but it's really pretty lace and let's see what she gifted me here Everything's packaged so nicely. I don't think I packaged her stuff that quite this nice, but <laughs> you know, some more fun lace here. You really pretty card. I think it's a card. Yeah, it's a card. Look at that. Look at all the wonderful details on that. How pretty is that? So many beautiful layers and the flowers and the coloring. It says love up there in the corner. So cute. I love it, Ivy. And so it's kind of a scallop circle card. Oh, and it's a it's an easel card, and so um, I can open it up here. There wasn't anything. It says "Crafty Hugs Ivy" on it, and then look at how pretty that is. Hopefully, you guys can kind of see all the details, the pretty lace, and a resin piece, and a little heart with a pretty bow behind it. Just precious. I really love that. That's so cute. And then we'll see what she has in here. This looks like a bag that she altered. And like I said, I know she has a ton of tutorials on her channel for all sorts of fun things. Ooh, I love that material that she used on there. It's all gathered and all the pretty beadwork and a really shabby flower with a really pearly, pretty pearl and rhinestone bling piece in it. Oh, and I love this piece too. This is so pretty. Just so many fun details. I hopefully, hopefully you guys are catching some of those on camera. And up here, another little bling piece with kind of a flower ribbon behind it. Some different layers of trims. A beautiful vintage image. Some pieces of applique. I just like the texture of this bag. Just really fun. So again, there's another look at the bag. Oh, 
Well, how cute is that? So she wrapped something in some really pretty lace or some trim here. And she closed it with um, safety pins with beads and this one has a little pearl on it and some beads. Let's see if I can get these off very carefully. And then that's what that one, some really cute little buttons on that one. Ooh, pretty. Some little appliques. Look at that. And then she has it wrapped with some little seam binding. Not pretty. The lace that she can find over in the UK is so different than what we can find here in the US. Oh, this is really pretty. And I think these she actually used on um, the bag. There's that little piece right there. And this piece right here. I thought she made these flowers. That she wrapped them and, and did that. So that's really cute. It came from an applique. And then it looks like this piece was down there. What a fun idea. That's really pretty. So she sent me two of those. Oh, and a pretty flower. Look at that. I'm just so excited, Ivy. These are so pretty. And then it looks like some dyed laces. This is really pretty. Look at that. Very fun. Some pink. Oh, this is really fun too. Here's a pretty dangle lace. Look at that with the glitter on the little rhinestones on the flower part. I don't think I've ever seen a dangle like lace like this before. It's really pretty. Wow. Another gorgeous shabby flower. I think she probably made these. So here is that other one that she made. Some really fun trims. Look at that one. Ooh, this one's gorgeous. I'm going to have to put these in my hoard pile again for a while. Oh, that one is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, and this one too. Look at that one. This one would be fun on a Christmas project with the red and the green on it. Wow. I can't believe you're willing to part with some of these ivy. There's some more pretty trim too. Like that one. And a gold one. Very pretty. I love it all. Thank you so much for sharing. So excited about some of those things. Like I said, they're probably going to have to go in my hoard pile for a while. And so Ivy did include in a little note, and I did read that off camera. I'm like two that um, she has a tutorial on it. And I did kind of quick look on my tablet before I started filming, and I didn't see it real quick on there. So um, I'm not sure if she's going to put it on her channel once I got my package or did my reveal for the package um, but Ivy if you do watch this and you do have a link to the tutorial um, just make sure you put it in like the comments but for sure again you guys I will have a link to Ivy's channel because like I said she just does some phenomenal work on um, Chevy Chic stuff so she was one of those fun channels that I found. Um, she was on the Angel Dream Crafts design team for a little while. And so I found her channel that way um, when she was a design team member also. And I just was in awe of her channel when I the first time I found it. So but like I said, she just has a really nice channel. Ooh. Wow, Ivy. This is amazing. I haven't even opened it all up yet. I gotta get a couple things out of my way here. So again, we were supposed to alter a spool and I think this bottom part is the spool. This part right here is the spool. Wow.
I think this is like one of the most gorgeous altered spools I have ever seen and so creative. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And I know it's not gonna, you guys aren't gonna be able to see the full effect of it since um, it's more of a 3D stand-up type thing. But you can see the cute little bird. But wow, look at that. So, so this is her altered spool and she made it into a birdhouse. Amazing. Look at that. So pretty. Looks like she added some texture and some paint possibly to the spool. Maybe some paper with some glitter over it. Um, but it has a little bit of texture feel to it. And so many beautiful details. There's ribbon and lace and flowers. A beautiful sentiment. Wow. And then she has that lace kind of wrapped up around the side and there's some pearls in there too. Wow, amazing, look at that. And then, so she kind of used the altered spool as the pedestal and then she altered a birdhouse on the top or she made it, it looks like she made it out of um, some heavy chipboard. And on top of this spool, she has a ton of layers of different trims, just some beautiful, trims right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then there's some cheesecloth, a doily, kind of a resin piece right there, and a cute little door. And it looks like it opens. Wow. And I know she said that there was lights or a battery in here. I'm not... I can see the cord, but... Oh, here we go. So we'll just check and see if it works here. Oh, well, yeah, it does. Oh, look at that. Oh, amazing. Wow. I'm kind of speechless here, Ivy. This is beautiful. So, I mean, the door does open slightly, but if you and if you look inside, which I don't know, you guys are going to be able to see this on camera, but she has all the the lights in there. Just a kind of a string of like what I would call fairy lights. And then there's a white bird on the inside. And maybe you can kind of see the eyes if I tilt it up right there. But it looks like a very similar bird to the one on top. But how fun is that? Wow. Some pretty paper. And then she has all these resin pieces. And even just the small little acrylic pink flowers on the resin piece. And then there's another resin piece up here and up at the top, another little acrylic flower and the bead trim. Wow. And then she decorated the roof of the birdhouse again with some more of this tassel trim that's so pretty. And then some beautiful trim right here that she's kind of gathered to make it look like shingles. How cute and creative is that, guys? That's just amazing. It's just there's so many details. I'm Hopefully I'm catching them all to sh share with you guys. And then at the top, she has a really sweet little shabby chic bird. It's all white and then it's sitting on like a nest of pearls and flowers. Oh, I love that idea of making the nest out of the pearls with the roses in it. How cute is that? Oh, I love that idea. Wow, Ivy. This is amazing. And I love birds, so I mean, this is just um very spectacular. I don't some of you guys might know, but I actually do bird surveys for part of my job. So, um very fun. You know, my house is my craft room, of course, is with shabby stuff in it, but we, I have other things in our house that are kind of more rustic decor that are birds. But man, this is definitely going to be sitting on my shelf. I'm going to have to make room for this and take, take away something else because this is going to be on my shelf all year round. It's just that pretty. Wow. I kind of feel very blessed and honored that you wanted to be my partner, Ivy, because... I don't want to say what I made you, but man, this is this is just gorgeous. So, thank you. 
and after I'm done filming, I will try and take a picture of it standing upright, So, and I'll attach it at the end of this video so you guys can kind of see the whole effect of it standing upright. But, um, beautiful paper. I think it looks almost like a Prima paper, possibly. So, um, really pretty. So again, I'll hold that up so you guys can check it out again one last time before I sign off, but just amazing. Like I said, if you haven't checked out her channel, um, make sure you guys go and check it out. Again, in that little note she left me, it sounded like um, she had made a tutorial for this. So, um, and again, I didn't see it when I looked real quick um, before I signed on today but I'm sure she will have it up soon. And if not, I will have her um, leave a comment below with a link to it. But I will, of course, have a link for her channel so you guys can find her channel for some of her other projects. I know re lately she had these little heart embellishments that I wanted to try that she had a little tutorial on. Thank you so much, Ivy. I really love it, and it's definitely going to be very treasured um, sitting in my craft room. I'm going to draw lots of inspiration from it. And again, one last peek at the at the top of that beautiful nest that she made with the pearls. That's I've just never seen that before, and that's so cute with the pearls and the birds. So um, I'll probably be trying that sometime on some future project. Oh, so pretty. Thank you very much. So again, I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching today, and I really do hope you guys go and check out Ivy's channel if you haven't already, um, and show her some love by commenting and subscribing to her channel. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and happy crafting.